Go. Ah, some snails have escaped from a care of magical creatures class. Careful, they're dreadfully poisonous. Press the cross button to cast the flipendo knockback jinx from your wand. That should stop the wretched things. And watch out for those poisonous snail trails. Coming, you can see it anyway. So, <laughs> yay! Obviously, I have to sort out of my, uh, my voice over the audio after the cutscene, anyway. So, mm. here we go. Yeah. Hello. At least it loads quick now. Too much pixels. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket wrap bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from platform nine and three quarters and left the muggle world far behind. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? Said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. <coughs> no? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Huh? Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, okay, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, okay. not all secrets are rewarding. 
Oh, um, which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Nitwit, bitch, bitch, blubber, oddment, tweak, four, wonderful work. Amazing. Uh, I turned the volume down, so it should be better now. Yeah. Is it better? Yeah. Might be too quiet, but I'm not sure. Hey. Hey, which one was it called? Because I didn't know that was there. <laughs> Merlin. Oh, it's fucking Merlin. Apparently Merlin's a wizard. Well, we'll be meeting Merlin in a, in a game soon. Another one. <laughs> He's in the Bugs Bunny game. Merlin. Medieval. <laughs> Dates unknown. Most famous wizard of all time, sometimes known as Prince of the Enchanters, part of the court of King Arthur. Who? I think the 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 um emulator is quite loud. To be fair, it's probably why. Mm. Sometimes it's so loud that it fucking sounds like sharp pain in my ear. Okay. Yeah. Be fair, I could turn down my headset, but it won't make much of a difference. <laughs> I'll be finishing around around like 11.35, 11.40, something like that. By the look of that scar, you must be Harry Potter. I'm Fred Weasley, and this is my brother, George. Hello there, Harry. We have a proposal for you. In Hogwarts, there are special portraits, and behind these special portraits are prizes. But of course, not just anyone can open up the portraits. You need to know the password. If you bring us earwax every flavour beans, we'll tell you the password. We'll be in the Gryffindor common room, which is through the portrait of the fat lady. It's not nice. See you around, what? Harry. They called her fat. Oh. Oh. Fat lady. Yes. Deal with it. I can't. <laughs> Feel upset now. They're bullying. I did that. I know. I know the whole game. Hey Harry, everything. remember me, Ron Weasley, that slimy Slytherin, Draco Malfoy, ran through this door with an owl under his arm. I think it was your owl, Hedwig. Let's go after him. I played the Lego Harry Potter. Hmm. I mean, considering this game was made in like 2000 and that was made in like 2012, I think there is a Come big on, Harry. difference. Come on, Harry. Let's find Hedwig. Oh, yeah. Well, well, well. If it isn't the famous Harry Potter, I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. Looking for that owl of yours? How careless of you to leave it lying about. Go home to your mother, Potter. Oh, sorry. You don't have one, do you? <laughs> the classes are amazing. Proper down. He's a nasty piece of work. Just ignore him. Us Gryffindors should stick together. <sighs> Come on, Harry. Follow me. To climb up, just push forwards on your controller. <gasps> let's go. Okay, let's go. <gasps> yeah, I was <sighs> playing the game earlier, and and. I Follow me. To put a timer, but I didn't need to in the end. Mm. To the jump, level finished just 30, approach the edge and keep pressing forwards on the controller. When I, did it. I thought it was like one of those games where it Look, wasn't like level. There's another le feather. Uh, I'll double like back and watch the entrance. You better go on and rescue Hedwig. You sort of like play through and through mm. rather than end end a mission. Mm. You get what I mean? <laughs> Ah. 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 
Heck yeah. Woo. I remember this and the next one. I could pretty much tell you. Hello, what to Harry do. Potter. My name is Nearly Headless Nick, and I am the Gryffindor House Ghost. Look how tall this room is. Well, I mean, you must go all the way to the top to get out. If you want to look around, press your triangle button. Press the triangle button again when you've finished. Yeah, it might be. I played a Harry Potter game before, probably in front of you. I played Order of the Phoenix. That might be what it was, but the graphics. But it was a 360 game, so. Oh! Dodgy controls. I'm not used to using a PS2 controller for this game. I'm used to using a PS1. Might put an alarm on. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you can tell me. Ah, some snails have escaped from a care of magical creatures class. Careful, they are dreadfully poisonous. Press the cross button to cast the flipendo knockback jinx from your wand. That should stop the wretched things. And watch out for those poisonous snail trails. Yeah, um about 11.35 or something like that. Like, if you tell me it's only at 11.35, then... Oh, I don't know. I might... I'll, I'll stop. I don't want to wait for too long anyway. Jolly hasn't texted me back yet. No surprise. You can use your L2 and... I already know that you start. Yeah, um, fucking books giving me tutorials. Hello again. Did you notice that those poisonous snails twinkle? No. Things that twinkle okay. can be affected by a flippendo knockback jinx. This is a jinx block. Your flippendo knockback jinx will move it aside. Amazing. To move the jinx block, cast flippendo at it. I shall. I love how you get house points for then basically nothing. I'm so used to using like normal I'm so used to like using thumbsticks that using this is kind of awkward for me. I went all the way there just to get health back that I didn't need. Oh. That rat just went in the wall there. Yeah, the emulator will be a bit glitchy, but it should play out fine. If it doesn't, then I don't know. Well, hopefully, I don't get all the way to a point and it stops working. So I have to hope. But most likely, most likely, we'll keep working. Well, you've made it this far. Now take a look at this. A tall jinx block like this one needs a charged flipendo knockback jinx to move it. Okay. To cast a charged knockback jinx, hold down the cross button to build up the spell before releasing it. Wanna 
Nice. Uh, what the retard? Uh, Fiber internet. Just take a piss at the graphics. Playing this on an emulator, it's gonna exactly. be bad. Jesus Christ. Swat. I'm never long bottom. Malfoy led me down here and then ran through a secret oh. passage with an owl. Now I'm trapped by these enchanted books. I've lost my wand. So I can't knock the books out of the way with Lependo. Use the R1 button to point your wand at the flying books, then use your cross button to cast. Okay. <coughs> so, yeah, it's a PS1 game. It's gonna be, it's gonna have Dreadful graphics, and it doesn't help that. Lever is around here somewhere. On. There, I found it. Clearly, the guy who commented is like ten years old. <laughs> Probably does. Sugar Daddy seventy one. So if he was born in seventy one, he's not a kid. And so even more of an ass. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> That'll make him two years younger than you. <laughs> Damn, he'd be 44. Something like that. <laughs> oh, retard. A charge flipendo nut break jinx. He's watching like free this right now, from like, those bars. Fuck you, Keep the cross button punch. held down to cast one. He just danced around me and then went. Yeah. I see you rescued Hedwig. She was eager to get out, so I opened the door for her. That'll teach Malfoy to mess with us. Hi, I'm Neville. I'm in Gryffindor too. Harry helped me escape from some flapping books. Nice to meet you, Neville. Come on down. Uh, it's all right. You guys go ahead. I think I've lost my toad, Trevor. Come on, Harry. Let's go. Steam hasn't fucking refunded me yet. No. They are ours, Hughes. Hmm. They're like a multi-million company, and they won't fucking refund me. They will refund you, but they need to be a bit quicker. Yeah. They better fucking refund me. And they better do it quick because the fucking sales. Wow! Hedby brought you a broomstick! I'll show you where the flying lesson is. Follow me! Oh, great. Gotta do the flying lesson. I hate the flying lessons. Here's the doorway to the flying lesson. Watch yourself, Harry. I hear Madame Hooch is really strict. I'm still waiting for my broomstick. Our stupid owl is ancient. It's going to take forever. I'll wait for you here. Okay, see you around. I am Madam Hooch, your teacher. There is a house point bonus if you excel at any of the following tasks. Steer your broomstick using the directional buttons and press the cross button to move forwards. First, fly through each hoop that appears in sequence. On my whistle, then. The woman who does the flying looks, looks like a lesbian prostitute. Excellent technique. Ten house points for getting them all. Good. The next test is a little harder, but there are bonus house points if you succeed. Fly through each magic hoop that appears. Remember, slow down to turn tighter. Ready, Potter? Yeah. On my whistle, then. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh. 
Well done, Potter. I shall award 10 house points for that fine performance. Ready for a tougher challenge? There are bonus house points for a perfect score. As before, fly through each of the magic hoops. Concentrate now. On my whistle. I do. Three, two, one. Done, Potter. A good score. Oh, Five more house points she for Gryffindor. Points. You've mastered the basics of broomstick control. Now run along. Okay, I will. I've mastered the basics, apparently. Hi, Harry. Have you met Hermione yet? She's a real know-it-all and a teacher's pet. No, I am not. Hello, Harry. Charm's class is about to start. Isn't it exciting? She's rather annoying, isn't she? beans mm. I like beans oh no I forgot in my spell book I'll catch you up Harry first one to forget his spell book forget what? his spell book oh. <coughs> well, not get to the charms class before the timer runs out Walk through the floating clocks to start the timer. Okay. be Harry Potter. Welcome to Charms class. Nice You're just Alex in time. <laughs> Welcome young wizards. I am Professor <laughs> Flitwick and today yeah, you will learn the spell well. Wingardium Leviosa. Watch my wand move and press the symbol button it points to. Complete each sequence three times to learn the spell Wingardium Leviosa. Now you try. Remember, press the symbol button that my wand points to. Get ready. That was good. Excellent. Perfect.
perfect. Perfect. Superb. Keep up now. It's going to get harder. Beetle. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Well done! You've mastered Wingardium Leviosa. Potter, Granger and Weasley, follow me to see the Wingardium Leviosa spell put into practice. Amazing. Now, listen carefully. An object that can be charmed will be marked with a yellow sparkle. A charmed object can be levitated. Keep the cross button depressed if you want to change the object height. Try levitating the hourglass onto its pedestal to open the door. Press the triangle button to release the object. Oh God. Wingardium Leviosa! Ooh. Well done! Five points to Gryffindor. Please meet me in the castle grounds. You can get to the castle grounds through the front door of the castle. Pop round for a cup of tea and a chat. I have something important to tell you. Your friend, Hagrid. Okay, Macy. Let's save this up. to the front door of the castle. Well, well, Potter. We meet again. Having a tour of the castle, are we? This is as far as you'll be going. You won't get past me, no matter how hard you try. Trapped in a big scary castle, eh? Oh dear, I think Potter is going to cry. Wingardium Leviosa! <laughs> Why is this so silly? Wingardium Leviosa! Time for a lesson, Potter. Let me teach you about wizard crackers. You're not leaving this castle until I have revenge. Okay. I love how, like, like, it always has been, but I love how animated his face is. Like, his face on that health bar looks really good. Take care of this yeah, upstart. Now, Potter, I'll give you a taste of my super wizard crackers. Oh. 
crab, you idiot! You're supposed to protect me! Goyle, get in here! Now we'll show this twit who the real wizards are! Text me if you're gonna pull me straight off. Oh, those might have been the right now. Ain't got no time. I'm not sure which one of the things it was, but one of the one of his guys got arrested in real life. Being part of the um being part of the uh, riots. Idiot. Was it really worth it? And uh, then. Oh. Don't Blast you, Potter! Next time you won't be so lucky. This is mating cool. Point our glasses are slowly filling up. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. Yay. Will Slytherin hold the house cup for a seventh consecutive year? Me, Hagrid. Good to see you. So These are the Hogwarts Hagrid. Castle grounds, and I'm the gamekeeper, of course. You'll need to attend your herbology class. Professor Sprout's in the greenhouse waiting for you. Come round my hut later for tea. I've something to ask you. My hut's in the grounds. <coughs> Welcome to Herbology. You're just in time. Good day, students. I'm Professor Sprout. Right, let's learn how to cast an incendio spell. 
Watch my wand move around the screen and press the symbols it points to. Complete each sequence three times to learn the incendio spell. That's the ticket. Now let's start the lesson. Get ready. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Most impressive. Now try this one. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. You sort of have to concentrate, but it's still easy. <laughs> well done. You my, must have the incendio aimed. spell. Now follow me to learn how to me. use the incendio spell. My mom. Clearly she's around my mom's. Let's try the incendio spell to wither a bouncing bulb. Use your wand on the bouncing bulb by the door. Hit the correct symbols and you'll build up enough spell power to affect the bulb. Cool. Incendio! Excellent, Harry. Five points to Gryffindor. That was easy. Need to go and do ports and get buddy go to the grand hall and get the beans. <laughs> I like beans in it, so mm. Great Hall, that's what it's called. For I it was, I know it was sign along those lines. <laughs> Gonna get harassed all day. Yeah, any other day they just don't give a shit. Yeah, I know, but any other day they'd be like, whatever. Someone was playing chess. Great, great graphics on the chess. Look. <laughs> Let's go to the castle grounds. Want the password for the portrait, Harry? Bring us blue every flavour beans. But watch yourself, there are some weird creatures running around out there. Yep. Bloody hell. My poor kitten has fallen down the well. Can barely I see can't that reach part. her. Oh. It's very dark down there. Will you help me? Yeah, sure. If you can find the bottom of the well, you might find her. I used to have a puffs game, but Fred and George used it for bludger practice. Hey, this actually hurts you when you walk into it. Not that thing, but like the the like tree thing. Looks like you. Let's 
sounds like him. Nice. <laughs> What happens when you burp? I feel ill. What a greedy pig. Grab all the Bertie Bot's beans, but mind the bouncing bulbs. If they bump you, you'll lose some of your beans. Ah. Holy shit! Ah. Bit extreme. It's meant to be aimed at four year olds. Well done, Harry. You collected all the Bertie Bot's beans. You've earned a famous Witches and Wizards card for your troubles. Yeah, who is it? Derwent Shimpling. Great. We got a little fact file on this guy. Derwent Shimpling, 1912 to present. Ate an entire venomous tentacular for a bet and survived. <laughs> Though it's still purple. <laughs> Can't even read his name, the fucking mm -hmm. graphics are that extreme. On the PS1 version, on the normal one you can. Glory of Faye. So you, you want to wait? There you are. I hope you did well in your herbology class. I did. Harry, can you fetch me some fire seeds from a rare plant in the forest? The plant lives just beyond the gargoyle gate. Okay. Been some very strange goings on of late. Be careful, Harry. I love how he says there's a strange goings on of late. Yeah, he sends the youngest person to go and yeah. fucking get it. Idiot. Hello, you're a Gryffindor student, aren't you? Nice to see a new face. If you want to proceed, you'll need to know my password. Once you have it, come see me and I'll open for you. Okay. I'll just hang around here for a while. <laughs> Good luck, young Gryffindor. Hello, oh. Harry. Try to grab all the Bertie Bot's beans, but mind the bouncing bulbs. If they bump you, you'll lose some of your beans. I'm guessing this is like the same idea. Mm. Ah! Oh. Ah! 
Oh no. There's so many of them. He's aimed at like five year olds. What the fuck are they doing? There we are. No, no, well I'm done, fine. Harry. You collected all the Bertie Bot's beans. You've earned a famous witches and wizards card for your troubles. Yay. Newt Scamander. There we go. Got another one. Newt Scamander. 1897 to present. Celebrated author of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It's actually hurting my fucking hand playing this. Is it? Yeah, the D-pad doesn't work on the PS1 oh, games, right. so I have to use uh, the thumbstick don't yeah. work, so I have to use the D-pad. Fucking hurts. <laughs> I might have to like... Out of my way, Harry! There's a, there's a huge monster down there! I might have to like... Um... Uh, play like over an hour and then fucking well, chill. You've got forty minutes. Oh, what for an hour and a half? Yeah. Okay. I just want to do an hour to be honest. Well, then you've got five minutes. Five so, minutes. I'm I'm gonna do a bit over an hour, but. My hand is killing. I didn't re I forgot that you can't use the D-pad on fucking PS1 games, so my, that's why my hands are in. I'm not fucking used to it. How nice is that? Now I can go through the door and I get beans. I like beans. See, ooh, like it got close. Oh, it was lava, that was one. Yeah, I edited that video on. I can't remember how long it is. Which one? The, uh, the FIFA one. I, I can't remember what, um, how long it was, but uh, I think it's like 45 minutes over that. I'm not sure. Which is fine. Oh, it'll all be a nice process, but off. Uh, it'll be fine. Oh. 
Got the birds. Graphics are better than Wolfenstein, the old blood. Oh, thanks. Joking. I was gonna say. Obviously, my oh, is a PS1 game. Huh. Oh, I enjoyed it. It was, it was kind of confu It's kind of confusing, but like when you do stuff, it's kind of confusing. But other than that, it's fine. What a fatty. job yeah um um it's like uh you're in a war yeah but, but like technology has advanced but but it's the old days it's yeah. so hard to explain you'll see it when i upload it hmm. For Monday, anyway, probably. So you'll get to see it. Can't remember if I've already <laughs> uploaded sign or not. The double check. Don't think I've uploaded anything for Monday yet because one video is going to be processing and, and the other I just haven't uploaded. But it's easy to upload anyway. Depending how how long it takes to process, might as well leave the computer on while it's processing the video when we go to watch the football. I think depends how long it takes. It might be finished by the time football we we decide to go football in it. So should be, but. If I'm having problems, then I don't know. Play a bit of Squire the Dragon. Squire the Dragon. I'll be playing that instead. You have to do loads of backtracking and stuff like that. It's the only thing I don't like about it. I hate games where you have to backtrack. Yeah, I know. Most nice. of them are PS1 games because they like old technology and shit. Old technology makes you backtrack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they make you backtrack a lot because. Um, Incendio! Because it makes the game longer, so. Always hated it in this part. Oh. Incendio! Right, in the tutorial, I mean, it's so fucking easy, but in the actual, like, in the actual part of this part is fucking hard. I 
gonna play at like 15 past. I mean, I'm gonna finish. Oh, fucking keep, keep fucking up that bit. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna play till 15 past. Cause my hand's already fucked. It's not even managed my finger. My left finger is hurting. I feel like someone just broke my finger. David Hay punched my finger. Oh. Oh. I don't know why I was so dodgy on that bit. It's just... <laughs> On this you don't have to backtrack to be honest. They sort of make you go back because obviously you have to go back to Hagrid. Mm. But you don't really have to backtrack. PS1 sold, you need to load up like every room. <laughs> Every room just needs loading up. This pro this was probably revolutionary, but now nah, it's not. Now nah, it's just like you just laugh and take the piss out of it. It's aggro. Well done, Harry. You found the fire seeds. Now I can show you what I need them for. But it's our secret, mind you. Come on inside, Harry. Wipe Ooh, your feet now. Secret. <laughs> Welcome to my home, Harry. It's small, but still roomier than your cupboard under the stairs, eh? I got this from a man in the Hogshead pub. It's a dragon egg. I need some fire seeds to give it that last burst of heat to force it to hatch. Go ahead and put them in the fire, Harry. You've done it, Harry. It's hatching. Up you come, me beauty. Ain't he lovely? I'll call him Norbert. He's a Norwegian Ridgeback, you know. Harry, you're a true friend. I want you to have this book, Quidditch Through the Ages. Now he's doing prostitution. <laughs> mm, we'd better give Norbert his first feed I've, soon. I've I'll given see him you later, fire Harry. Thanks the fire again. Thing and he's giving me a Quidditch book. Prostitution, that is. percentage am I through the game? Let's see. 31%. See, I told you it's quick. Yeah. To be honest, uh, this 
probably won't make for the best YouTube videos. Anyway. Follow me, Harry. You'll never guess what I've found. This is the entrance to the Quidditch pitch. But first years like us aren't allowed to play. I hear they make exceptions sometimes, though. But only if you are very, very good. Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. Best go and see oh, what yeah. he wants. Malfoy stole my remember all. <laughs> he ran off onto the school grounds with it. I need the remember all to find my toad. Please help me. Come on, I'll show you where he went. I'll get him. So Longbottom has gone snivelling to you, and you want me to give you his precious remember all. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to collect. How about up a tree? Think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter. And you better watch out for my bludgers. Apparently I have to bash him. See, all sorts going on. Like the first prostitution, I have to bash somebody. <laughs> what next? <laughs> this part is not the easiest part. And yeah, I'm still getting hit. What bash you to? <laughs> don't know. Black bash from people, so this should be easy. Oh, I'm hitting the wolf. It's so fucking hard to control. Oh, fuck you. So much momentum in my turn. <laughs> oh. Draco gets banned and answered, but when I but when I turn it, I get fucked all. Thing. I've no use for it. Get so fucked about getting Neville's remember all that. <laughs> I don't even know. But thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. That's a toad as a pet. I remember yeah. now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads. Oh no. Mr. Potter, I'm Professor McGonagall, deputy headmistress of Hogwarts and head of Gryffindor House. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. Ordinarily, first-year students may not compete in Quidditch. In your case, we might overlook that rule. Hurry along to the Quidditch pitch. Your first match against Hufflepuff is about to start. Ooh.
Wow! You're going to play Quidditch and as a seeker too. I just wanted to wish you good luck, Harry. Everyone's talking about you becoming a seeker, Harry. Why, you're the youngest seeker at Hogwarts in a century. As soon as I heard, I rushed down from my hut to give you a big congratulations. I know you'll catch the snitch first, I just know it. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! The Quidditch pitch has three goals at each end. The chasers throw the couple and try to put it through the hoops to score. Watch out for the bludgers. These are charm balls that can knock you off your broomstick. Two beaters of each team try to keep them away. Gryffindor's new team seeker is Harry Potter. It's his job to find and catch the golden snitch. Remember, when the snitch appears, it releases speed wings that will help the seeker fly faster. Here comes Potter! A glint of gold! Is that the snitch? Potter's seen the snitch! Potter's seen it. Yeah! Three, three, six, Potter's three. moving in for the kill! Wonderful! Here comes a bludger! This is amazing! If it isn't the notorious Mr. Potter. Remember my name, it's Professor Snape. And I know all about you, boy. Is that a library book in your grimy little hand? Library books, by definition, are not to be taken from the library. I'll just confiscate that, thank you. See you. As soon as my missing sloth brain is recovered, we'll start the first potions lesson. Hey, it's a piece of a map. Hold on. This is Fred and George's handiwork. The map shows there is a forgotten area around here. I wonder if it could be behind that old rusty door. It is. The map says there is a magic word to open the door. Well, here goes. Alahamora. 
Wow, look. I've opened that rusty door. Come uh, on. Let's see where it leads. Okay. Wow, I bet this is where my brothers have in the sloth brain that Snape's after. Let's split up and have a look about. Okay, so... This the end of the stream, I guess. How much, how much have I completed the game by? 36%. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, see ya. Bye. <laughs>